Hello, everybody. I'm Levi Litvoy from the Department of Political Science at Central European University. And I have the honor and pleasure of introducing my good friends and colleagues. Uh, that's Kai Wilkinson, Beno Ariu, and Derek Beach. Uh, and we are here today to firstly talk to you about this organization we're starting, which is, which is the Methods Excellence Network, which is called MethodsNet for short. Uh, and, uh, and yeah, and this is why we're here, to tell you about what we are up to and to launch this channel with this video. Uh, there will be more videos on the way. So um, how do we know each other? Well, we know each other because we work together at the European Consortium for Political Research Method School. Uh, we used to run this. Uh, Benoit has been a founding member since 15 years ago. Derek and I have joined a little bit later and Kai Wilkinson uh, joined when we had to move our Method School online because of COVID. Uh, today, we think that we, we have the opportunity to do something bigger, something uh, that we think cannot be done in the confounds of, uh, of ECPR or any other organization that kind of treat methods as kind of a sideshow. It's always, it's not, not in the center of what they do. So we are starting an organization, an academic organization broadly for social science methods. And uh, with that, I would like to ask uh, everybody to introduce themselves and uh, maybe say a few words about methods. So just a quick round of introduction first. So Kai, go ahead. Hi there, thank you. Um, Kai Wilkinson, based at Deakin University in Australia, uh, and with a particular focus on interpretivist methods and fieldwork methods. So in terms of bringing those in and making sure they don't get forgotten, but also recognizing that they're a lot more present than people think they are. All right, Benoit, go ahead. Hi, I'm Benoit, Benoit Rioux from the University of Louvain in, in Belgium. Uh, and, and I'm mostly working on comparative methods in QCA in particular, qualitative comparative analysis and comparative research designs. And I've been developing this and teaching this for many years. Derek? Yeah, so my name is Derek Beach, and I'm a professor of uh, political science at the uh, Aarhus University in Denmark. And uh, both my research and then my methodological development really deals with in-depth case studies, but in particular with, with process tracing methods. And I should say, I am the quantitative person of the group. I have uh, been uh, training people in statistics at Central European University at the graduate level. Um, I have taught a large number of workshops in a broad uh, array of statistical fields. And uh, this way, I believe that we have a very nice and broad range of social science methods represented in this group. So, Derek, can you tell me a little bit more about the core principles of MethodsNet? Yeah, so I think, uh, and and these will be elaborated in a second by the others, but but the core principles are are excellent. So methodological excellence, in in a very um, pluralistic uh, way of way of thinking. So so the, so the idea here is that we really want to promote accessible, world class training, and also further development discussions, um, etc., uh, regarding methods uh, broadly understood. And in particular, one of our core goals is 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 often within normal, I would say, existing uh, training events. So there's summer schools, etc., around the world. That methods are often taught in a very siloed fashion. So you go and you take a course on process tracing, or you go and take a course on multi-level modeling, whereas. What we're also intending to do is trying to have events in which we try and imp improve the understanding of participants for, for different methodological approaches, traditions. So this is the goal of, of pluralism so that, so that scholars from different traditions are, are better able to understand each other. And, and we think that this is, this is something that simply cannot be done within the existing confines of, of existing uh, events. And this is going to be a critical value added in our training events moving forwards. So Benoit, it was your idea to start an organization like this. So what's the vision behind it? Can you say a few words? Yeah, but so beyond uh, developing events, uh, we feel that there is really a need uh, uh, to, to create a structure that is like a global network of, of methods experts. Uh, so people who are developing methods, but also me methods expert instructors, people who are developing pedagogy in, in teaching methods from diverse disciplines. Uh, 
therefore, and this doesn't, does not exist yet. So we need to create this uh, together globally also, globally across, this, uh, across uh, the, the whole, um, you know, across the all range of, of places, uh, global, global north, global south. And with this critical mass, we, we think it's possible then to, to have a platform uh, to develop innovation and excellence and this pluralism that, that also Derek was mentioning. So we, it's not only about events, it's also about a, a, a place, a venue where people can discuss developments and innovations. And in the future, we hope also that we can provide support for researchers, for also for analysts, outside of academia, and, and, and also that we can develop other events, more like conferences and workshops, but that's further down the road. Yeah, and maybe even a journal that's been on my to-do list for the long term, um, so one can dream. Um, so we have a very, very strict, like, non-profit logic. Like, this is about people who want to learn methods, and we want to we want to reinvest everything that we have when we can raise uh, into that. Uh, so we want to make this event uh, affordable, but also accessible. Kai, could you please elaborate on that a little bit? Yeah, absolutely. It's... The affordable is obviously part of accessibility, but it's not the only issue. In terms of accessibility, what we're talking about is really impactful learning. So use of a lot of small groups, active learning. So this, these aren't gonna be courses where people are sitting and just listening. It's about putting things into practice, um, and, and but also situating things within wider debate. So having opportunities to engage across different methods and methodological traditions. Um, and in that sense, this is training, but this is also something so much bigger than that. This is about actively working to create an inclusive community that supports everyone, regardless of career stage, regardless of discipline, regardless of geographical location, gender, um, opportunity, um, really to be able to come in and engage in continual learning, try out something new from time to time, but also know that they can integrate this into their professional development um, and build up their own networks as well as contributing to the wider community. So, everybody, so what if this sounds good to you? I hope it does. Uh, here's what you should do. You should get involved. Uh, we just put up our website. It's methodsnet.org. We have a little button there where you can let us know that you want to be involved with this project. You are more than welcome if you are just a graduate student who has the ambition of being excellent in methods and methods training and, and the application of methods. We want you on board. If you're an advanced scholar writing books about methods, uh, we want you on board. If you are maybe not famous from your articles, but you're a good teacher of methods, we want you on board. So everybody in social science methods interest application teaching we want you on board so please let us know that you want to be on board i hope this sounds appealing to you uh we are starting this youtube channel so make sure you hit like and subscribe and check back sometime we'll be posting videos on methods uh of all varieties we want people to understand methods in a very very pluralistic way and uh, very soon we have a big announcement of a large summer school over 30 classes that's coming in 2022 so stay, stay tuned for that and uh, this is it from us bye everybody bye